Hey, what's up? Welcome to a new quick edit video. Yesterday morning I came along this tree and I thought this might make a great composite image. So what I want to do here is just replace the sky with a nice Milky Way shot or something similar. And also for the editing I'm going to use only Photoshop with the TK panel plugin. But first check out the before and after images right here. Okay, and as I'm only using Photoshop for the editing, I will also be using the Camera Raw editor, which is basically the same as Lightroom. So for the lens correction, I need to hit this little icon and then just activate those two settings and then go back to the basic adjustments. Now there isn't much to do, but what I want to do is to increase the shadows just to get back some details there. And then I'm also going to increase the whites and I'm doing this mainly to make the sky replacement easier later. So I don't care if there are any overexposed areas in the sky. Also, it's starting to get a little bit too saturated. So I'm going to reduce the vibrance. And we don't need that much saturation anyway, as this will be a nighttime shot. All right, then let's see. I think I need to do some local adjustments. And therefore, I'm hitting that gradiated filter icon. And here I want to make the foreground a little bit more detailed. So I'm dragging up this filter right here and I'm going to increase the clarity and maybe decrease the exposure a tiny bit just to get some kind of vignetting effect there and maybe increase the highlights. Okay, then some simple color grading um, for which I want to use the split toning and basically I want to apply a cold color tone to the darker areas. Let's increase the saturation here. All right, and of course, I also want to sharpen this a little bit. Okay, and now I can open the image. Now, as said earlier, I'm going to use the TK panel plugin to remove the sky of this image. Now, I really hate those complex selections, especially around the branches of the tree, um, but hopefully the TK panel will do a great job at creating a fitting mask. So let's use the TK rapid mask. And by clicking on this little icon, I'm creating some uh, new channels. And for those of you who are not familiar with this technique, I want to separate the foreground from the sky in the back. And I'm doing this by making the sky or everything else I want to replace pure white, while the foreground will stay pure black. So in this case, I'm grabbing the newly created lights to layer and I'm duplicating it by dragging it above this little icon. And with the duplicated layer selected, I'm going to hit Ctrl L to bring up the levels panel. And then I'm making some adjustments to make the foreground darker and make the sky brighter. I think this will work. Now the sky still isn't white enough, but that's easily fixed by using the brush tool and setting the blending mode to overlay. And if I'm Using a white color, I can paint over the brighter spots without affecting the dark spots, as you can see right here. And I can do the same thing for the darker areas by just using a black brush. And you can see this works pretty good. Okay, let's see how this works. Now I'm going to select this all by holding down the control key and clicking on that little thumbnail. Then I'm going back to the layers tab and then I'm just hitting the layer mask icon and invert the layer mask by hitting control I. Now it does look good for the moment, but let's see what it does look like when I place the Milky Way shot behind it. Let's see, I want to rotate it a little bit and of course, make it bigger. Okay, it doesn't look too bad actually, like not bad at all. But there is still some fringing going on and I have learned a new technique to fix that. And for that, I'm again selecting the layer mask of that foreground layer. Then I go to filter, other and minimum. And this will help get rid of some of the fringing as I increase the radius. Let's go with something like that. Yeah, that looks pretty nice already. 
Now I still think the foreground is way too bright for a nighttime shot, so I can fix that by applying a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and clipping it to the foreground layer by holding down the Alt key and pressing between those two. And then I'm just decreasing the brightness quite a bit. And maybe also add some contrast. Now then I'm selecting the layer mask of that adjustment layer and choose the brush tool change the mode back to normal and the opacity uh, to around 10%. Then I want to brush out some areas just to play a little bit with the light in there. I also think the color tone of the foreground isn't right for a nighttime shot. So let's apply a curves adjustment layer and again clip it to the layer beneath it. Here I'm selecting the blue curve and I'm just creating a new point and I drag it up a little bit and you can see this makes a major difference. Okay then I think it's time to work on the background a little bit. First I want to fill this little gap on the right side so I'm just using the lasso tool selecting this area and filling it with the content aware method. All right also I want to bring in some more light above the horizon because right now it does look a little bit unrealistic. Again, I'm just using a brightness contrast adjustment layer and here I'm increasing the brightness quite a lot actually. Then I'm filling the layer mask of that adjustment layer with black and pick a white brush and then I'm painting in there. Okay, as you can see this looks way more realistic. Now I think those bushes in the back are kind of annoying, so I want to get rid of them. I don't think I need to be too careful for this. I'm just brushing them out using the layer mask again. And I'm doing the same thing on the right side. Actually I think I want to adjust the blue curve a little bit more. And then comes my favorite part of the editing, adding glow to the image. So I just create a new layer and set the blending mode to hard light. Again, choose the brush tool, set the opacity to around 10%. And let's see, I think I'm going with pure white for this one. And make the brush really, really small. And steadily increase it when brushing in. And I am doing the same thing for the other side. Okay, let's see, maybe I need to mask out some of the glow in front of the tree. So let's work on the background a little bit more. Therefore, I'm selecting that layer and go to the camera raw filter. And here I'm applying another gradiated filter from top to the bottom. And I just want to make this area darker, so I'm dropping the exposure. But also increase the highlights a bit. And maybe the clarity. Uh, let's see, maybe I'm adding a radial filter for the core of the Milky Way. And just add some saturation there. And some clarity. Alright. So next I want to merge all those layers I have created and there's an easy way to do that with the TK panel plugin and this is called Merge Visible. Now I can use that layer to apply some nice nick collection effects on top of it. And first I want to apply some nice glow, therefore I'm just using the classical soft focus filter and I think I'm going with the second diffusion method. Of course I don't want to have this glow over the whole image, so again I'm applying a layer mask. And here I want to mainly mask out the foreground because I want to have it nice and sharp. And maybe some of the branches as well. Okay, and one last thing I like to do is to apply a new layer and set the blending mode to soft light. And with this layer I want to add some more light to the Milky Way in the back. So with a white color I'm going to brush in there a few times. And maybe reduce the opacity of the layer a bit. 
not to make it too strong. Okay, but that's already it for editing this composite image. I hope this was a helpful quick edit video. And of course, if you'd like to see more content like this, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching this video.